Hi, I'm John Termel, Guinness Record Candidate, running in the uh, Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock by-election. This is part two of the one and only debate where I get to put the boots to John Tory for not having stood up for my right to participate and let the police drag me off out of the last debate. And I get to use the zinger that won quote of the year from CBC in 1985 at the end of this part. So enjoy. Leadership. These guys sat on stage rather than stand up to the Chamber of Commerce while a cop took their opponent away. They didn't show any leadership when it was important. What kind of leadership are you talking about? Now, I've been laughed at. They've called me a leader with no followers. And they call me a leader with no followers. And that's not so bad as I turn around and watch their herd of lemmings go off the cliff. I got a right to lead in the right direction, no matter how many followers want to go off the cliff. So, over and over, I'm going to talk about leading by printing up new interest bearing currency to finance all the things they don't have enough money for, and standing up for your rights when everybody else thinks you should buckle under is a different kind of leadership you may not recognize yet. Well, again, my little flyer explains how smarter people in Argentina solve the problem. And they use the provincial bond currency to fund their health care system, too. And, of course, if... There's another one. So, well, you would take bonds if you can pay your taxes, your license fees, your uh, other one, and now health care, too, because they're offering it. It's the problem. Who does it? Think of all the interesting things provincial bonds could be used for if those employees were paid with provincial bonds. Like the Green said, he's looking for green jobs, and I'm, I agree with him, we need green jobs. And the Green Party used to have a wet software on their program 20 years ago, but someone took it off. So now they want green jobs, but they got no green paychecks. And they used to have green paychecks, but someone took it off. Think about that. They had an answer, and now they don't. Well, the problem is this. When people borrow money at a bank, it's not someone's savings like in a piggy bank, but it's brand new credits like in a casino bank. <coughs> so the banks then ask for interest back. So everybody borrowed 10 gallons of liquidity from the pump house. Everybody owes 11. At the end of the game, nine guys survived their mortgage, which means death, gamble in French and Latin. Mort, mortuary, gamble, cash. Nine guys survive out of ten, ten guys get squeezed out. So, with the, oh, where was I leading to? Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> no, no, just the key, guy first. Oh, that's right. Well, the point is, if you, he's one of the businessmen who right now is behind my wall. He doesn't have an answer to the money and taxation or any other splashing in the pool. The problem is in the pump house. There's an imbalance in the pump house and no splashing in the pool. No. Well, in the United States, four lane highways have a 75 mile limit, 120 an hour kilometers. I love 120 an hour, two clicks a minute. Everybody does one, almost everybody on the highway does 120 an hour. And why would the government want to keep the limit low enough that everybody's breaking the law? Well, they want to keep it low enough so that everybody's breaking the law. It means a policeman can pull over anybody he wants for any reason. He's not speeding as the start. Why else? Government is here to torment us. And they do a good job of it. And you ever talk, hear them talk about fixing money? No. It's always how to spread the poverty and the shortage around. So I want higher speed limits on the roads so that the average everybody does isn't illegal. Well, after 69 elections, I guess you could say have election, will travel. And if they have another one, I'll probably go there too, spreading the message of set up your own time bank, get the government to pay you with time bonds. Now, my slogan is, I want cops out of gambling, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I'm a libertarian there. And I want no usury on loans. Pay it back with cash or time, but no dole. So as for victimless crime, I mean, I'm a professional poker player, Taj Professor. 
best women poker player in the world, living at the Brantford Casino where I live, and should be legal everywhere, and as for prostitution, most shy and less attractive people got a right to get laid. And as for drugs, people have to be able to use the drug of their informed choice. That's the libertarian in me. As well, I can do ice cream all to the Bank of Canada. Log on my PayPal, settle all your debts. After that, all payments go against principal. So you got to go to my website, channel, the YouTube, King of the Poppers, and do your homework. <laughs> So go to YouTube, because that's a scary board, that's a scary chamber of Congress moderator, big fella. I said, no, I already back down. So if you want to see my YouTube, just go search for chicken shit and you'll find it. Alright. <laughs> 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 I thought you just come from a convention looking for new ideas and you didn't find any? And you ain't interested in one now? Keep your mind open, boys. Read it. Do some homework. How to save yourselves. Anybody else? Going, going. Yes. So that's it for the Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock by election. One debate. Almost nobody heard about Time Bank for the do it yourself light boat that they could build. And almost nobody heard about using provincial bonds to pay for government employees. So they're going to suffer. And I guess they can blame their media for not having passed on the financial solutions to their poverty problems. And that might be because the media don't understand it, or they're evil and owned by powers above, whatever. But the solution is out there. Like in Hamilton East in 1996, one person it took to go get the time bank software and set up a time bank in their community so that one month after the super loser fails again headline Hamilton self-help group starts Hamilton Let's. So my purpose was to let people know there was a do-it-yourself solution. My purpose was to let them know there was a government do-it solution and I've done my duty whether they're bright enough to catch on and build themselves a lifeboat or force their government to build a provincial one who knows? But the real test of electoral power in Canada is now about to take place because it's not really uh, a question of ideas and dynamics, finding it out in the intellectual arena for the approbation of the voters. It's actually who has the most cars to transport the most non-thinking voters to the polls because most of the people are pledged to their favorite party, their team, and then there's the gamblers, the ones who are trying to pick the winner, you know, think it's a game, like a horse race, and I voted for John Tory because I saw all those signs that he won, that makes me a winner. 
So with the gamblers out there and the sheeple from the parties who don't do any thinking about what's going on, that doesn't leave much opportunity for the thinkers to shape what's going on. So the true test, who has the most cars, will be decided on March the 5th, and we'll see what happens.